Looking back on the first week of this project, I would say, apart from the outrageous pressure I placed upon myself to create this video, nothing much was different. I spent too much time on my computer, I did the shopping, I ate some stuff, I read some stuff, I even caught a gig. I did invent a halloumi dance. And I did get up at 6am most mornings to try to create some kind of anchor point for this experience. 6.30am, first day of this project. Morning number two. Trying to find this anchor point. Oh, really didn't want to get up today. Day four, it's happening. It's funny that I smile every time the camera comes on because I'm really not that happy. <laughs> But most of my week was spent consumed by this project. Questions, 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 questions. How am I going to do this? Should I break this up into segments with specific themes and key takeaways? Or would it be better to have no direction, just a mishmash of my days? Should I position myself as a someone shaping the story to place me up here? Use this project as a platform for building a brand and a healthy career? Or should I be raw and revealing, brutally honest with all that I'm feeling? Risk being seen and misunderstood. Trust there's a scene that sees this as good. And should I be sharing about what I do or sharing it while I'm doing it? Am I telling this retrospectively or stitching together the spontaneity in such a way that says something? It's been doing my head in until this guy swung past with six beers and a few ideas on what artistry is. His name is Trigger, he plays the bass and he is radical. He reminded me that before every great masterpiece, an artist will immerse themselves into the world that moves them. They'll gather vast volumes of inspiration, melodies and memories, paragraphs and belly laughs, experiences that will later inform their expression. He made it clear that artistry is not a chore. It's hard work, that's for sure. But it's the relentless pursuit of that which makes you come alive. It's finding yourself in your favorite things. It's banishing the expectation that you need to produce anything meaningful or beautiful or relevant or radical for ages. So now is the time to fill my cup so full of the stuff I love that I turn I could into I should into I must. Somewhere down the line, all of this will make sense. So relax. There's plenty of time for the masterpiece. Right now, just seek out what speaks directly to your soul and get close to it. Stay there until you know it. Back to front, front to back, and side to side. So with all those things, I guess you could say, I found a way in. See you next week.